How's it going guys this is Win, and welcome back to another video today is a very exciting day to be a mobile gamer because we have two of the greatest games period both available on iPhone we are gonna take a look at which one is the best and which one is the best for you in today's video so sit tight because we have an awesome comparison coming your way just in case you've been living under a rock the player known battlegrounds versus Fortnite feud has come to mobile devices and it's time that we sort it out once and for all both of these titles originated in 2017 on PC, and they made their debut on console as well. Now for the mobile version, Epic Games opted to build their own app from the ground up, while Bluehole, the developers behind PUBG, they decided to partner with another developer known as Tencent Games for their app. This is the same company behind Knives Out and Rules of Survival. Now many of you might be wondering why I didn't include Rules of Survival in this comparison, but that's because in my opinion I honestly just believe that PUBG is flat out a better game than Rules of Survival. I think that PUBG has way better map design and uh, mechanics than Rules of Survival does, and Tencent's the same company behind them. So I think when Tencent and Bluehole combine forces, mobile PUBG is just a way better game than Rules of Survival. So our comparison today is strictly going to be PUBG Mobile and Fortnite Mobile. So first things first, if you're deciding which one is best for you, why don't you just take a look at what phone you're using right now. If you have an iPhone, then you can play both of these games without a problem. But if you have Android, then I've got some bad news for you. Fortnite is not available right now on Android, and there isn't a concrete release date for it yet either. However, Epic Games is probably one of the most efficient and community-driven developers out there, and at the rate that they pump out new content, I doubt the Android version is going to take a long time to release unlike, you know, some other games. Second, PUBG and Fortnite are both totally free on mobile and technically in beta, but Fortnite is in an invite-only period. Only people who get codes from Epic Games or other players already in-game can log into the app and play. Fortnite Mobile also supports playing on the exact same account whether you're on PC, PS4, or on your phone, so it feels great to be able to log in and already have your character at level 30 or 40 or 50 or whatever, and the battle pass you already purchased will be accessible on your mobile device. Now PUBG Mobile, as far as I can tell, there is no way to log into any uh, some, like kind of account from PC, so you're going to have to start over fresh from level 1, which is a little bit annoying, and every single time I go to log in, there's also a Facebook method of logging in, so it won't bring up my character as soon as I open the app, which is a little frustrating, but not big enough of a deal for me to not want to play the game. One of the biggest issues when shooter games come to phone is how well they tailor their controls for being able to, you know, shoot, crouch, hide, and everything. And I think both of these games do as well as they can, given that the only interface you have is just your phone screen. But one of the most disappointing things, I think, is in Fortnite, where the building mechanics don't feel as great as they should. And I know one of the core central parts of Fortnite is how fast you can build a fort, what you can create, how you can defend yourself. And being able to not do that on a phone very well kind of eliminates some of the spirit of the game, and it makes it feel a little bit more disappointing compared to the original Fortnite on console or PC. Now, PUBG also obviously has the same limitations, but I feel like the spirit of the game itself is still pretty good compared to the original. When I played it, I felt like I was able to do everything I wanted to, and I didn't feel hindered as much by the controls. Of course, it is a little different and a little frustrating at times, but Fortnite really was not anywhere near as capable of building as it is on the original game, which therefore made me not want to build at all, and the controls was basically the main reason for that and also right now as it stands in fortnite you cannot uh customize your controls so the fire buttons the crouch buttons the jump everything is exactly where for uh, epic games has decided to put it and i can't move it at all which is very difficult considering based on different factors your hands your phone screen size everything you want to be able to change your controls and tailor an experience just for you on PUBG Mobile though, you can actually customize the controls, you can move everything around where you want it to fit your experience, and that is a product of Tencent helping uh, with the development, because in Rules of Survival you can also do that too. So I think that is a very 
uh, important factor. It's small, it's subtle, but it is very important when comparing these two games because later on, if you want to try to change things up, if you get really good at the game, and uh, the placement of those buttons is very crucial and very important. And you know, just one millimeter off or something, you're going to end up pressing the wrong button or accidentally shooting, and that's what's really frustrating. Now in Fortnite, the accidental shooting is one of the biggest problems because you are obviously swiping with your thumb to try to aim, and you're also tapping to shoot on the screen. So every time that you go to swipe and the, the game thinks that you're tapping, you're going to fire a bullet and you're going to be instantly at disadvantage because everyone's going to know where you are and there's no way to actually go into the settings and fix the controls to try to uh, remedy this issue. In terms of performance, PUBG Mobile and Fortnite Mobile both ran pretty well on my phone and my iPad. I was using an iPhone 7 Plus and an iPad mini 4th generation. They both ran decently well on my devices, but I didn't feel like PUBG Mobile was a little bit smoother. I didn't have any graphical problems whatsoever with PUBG, but with Fortnite I got a little bit of stuttering and some kind of like frame drop, I guess you could call it. I don't know if there's frame drop on phone, but when I would try to mine through a house if I landed at Fatal Fields or Anarchy Acres or something, and I would mine through the roof to start off the game, I'd get a little bit of lag trying to go through the roof, but it wasn't anything that made me you know, not want to play the game, but I did feel like PUBG Mobile is a lot smoother, and I think you're going to have a little bit better performance on some of your lower devices like the iPhone 6. I've heard from some people that Fortnite Mobile is barely playable on the iPhone 6, but PUBG Mobile actually runs a lot more smoothly on uh, older iPhones and older generations of devices. All in all, I have to say that I'm pretty impressed with both of these games given that they were just released this week and they are both in beta, so that is obviously a huge disclaimer that both of these games are in beta. They don't represent the final iterations of their games, but we can guess that they're pretty dang close. Now I think I personally favor PUBG Mobile a little more. I think on phone it's been optimized pretty decently. It feels as closely to the original game as uh, you know it possibly can. I think that Fortnite Mobile, with some of the limitations, you just cannot build to the same degree that you can on uh, Fortnite console. I know that if you are protected, if you don't have anybody around you, you could certainly take the time and build a massive fort. But the spirit of the of the game where you can throw up a wall, throw up some stairs, and try to build yourself a little like enclosure when you're taking fire, you just cannot do that. So the game inherently just feels a little bit different than it should. So I think Fortnite loses out a lot because of the controls. And given that you can't edit the controls, it is a little frustrating. Now, both of them are insanely fun. I'm very happy that they are on mobile devices, but I do personally think that PUBG Mobile is going to be the winner for today's video. And it's pretty ironic given that on PC, Fortnite was like the best optimized game ever and PUBG had so many optimization issues. But I think for the mobile releases, they definitely got it right over a blue hole in Tencent for PUBG Mobile. I think the game is in a great spot, even for beta, it just came out yesterday. And I really enjoyed myself when I played it for a little bit. And Fortnite as well, I really enjoyed that too. But I know Epic Games has a little bit of work to do to bring it up to where they want. But like I said, guys, it's in beta. And of course, Epic Games, at the rate that they release new content, I am very confident that it is going to be out uh, in a much better shape very soon. And of course, it's also going to be out on Android very soon too. I have to believe that Epic Games is going to do all they can to get it released to the entire other half of the mobile market. I think for a game to not release on Android is just crazy given how so many people out there have phones that aren't iPhone. Alright guys, that is going to do it for today's comparison. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned a lot about PUBG Mobile and Fortnite Mobile. I think they both honestly are just great games. And if you haven't gotten into the Battle Royale genre yet, these are both great entry points. You don't have to have a powerful PC now. You don't have to have a PS4 or an Xbox to get in on the action. These devices we have right here are good enough to run full Battle Royale games right now, which is honestly crazy to me given how I grew up with like a PlayStation 1. Now, I think after everything I said, at the end of the day, with this feud of Fortnite versus PUBG, you know, versus Fortnite, like which is better, it's gonna come down to personal preference. The games are completely different. One is obviously more cartoony, there's building, it's it's less complex in some areas and more complex in others. Then you've got PUBG, which is like this super realistic game, kind of, you can argue that. It's super realistic and it's got some, like I said, with Fortnite, it's complex in some ways, like you've got body armor, but then it's less complex where there like isn't building. So if you want more realistic, you can go PUBG. If you want more like arcade style, 
battle royale where you can build giant forts like in a second then go with fortnite it's obviously personal preference so i hope given what i told you today and your preference you can pick which one you want if you have a level 100 you know account on fortnite you don't want to start over maybe just play that on mobile since there is a uh, you know cross account and you can just log in on your phone or if you haven't gotten in at all but you like pubg you could start over from scratch level one and you know get going on the uh, forest map um Erangel, I think it's called. They don't have the desert map yet, Miramar. It's just the original PUBG map, but both games a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments below which one you're going to pick. Are you Team Fortnite, Team PUBG, or you like me, you got both of them, and you're just going to play Fortnite till you get frustrated, then play PUBG when you... Then after that, I'm going to get frustrated with PUBG, go back to Fortnite, and just go back and forth. I love both of them, and I'm going to play a ton of them on my channel. So I hope you guys are super excited for it. I'm really excited for all these awesome mobile games coming out. And apparently, like, Mario Kart's coming out on phone, too, this year. Like, this is going to be a crazy year. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. But of course, that's all I have for you today. So I will see you next time.